ashadu anna muhammadur rasulullah then it goes allahu akbar allahu akbar Most Muslim children spend two hours a day after school studying Islam at the mosque. If you live here and you're not Muslim, the streets are empty at this time. Amy and Ashleen were curious about the mosque. That's the mosque what I used to go to, that one over there. Do you know why you started going in the beginning? Yeah, because um, Amy and Jake couldn't mosque playing football and they did this Saturday thing where they like loads of food, feasts. And Amy and Jake were playing football with loads of different people at mosque. And they said, come in to Amy and Jake. So Mum said, go find them. So I had to go find them. I was walking around everywhere and they were in Greenland Mosque. So I went in and I asked the, the imam of the mosque if we could have some books, do you know, just to read. And then they started getting into it. And how long did you go to the mosque for? About a year and a half. Yeah. And you were quite a good student, weren't you? As I've heard, yeah. What have you heard? That I'm a good student at the mosque. Jake, Amy, and their elder sister Ashleen have been living in this street for 18 months. <laughs> They're at an age where friendship and belonging are important to them. The family has had a difficult few years. Periods of homelessness and a lot of moving have been unsettling. They've had to wait a long time for this new home in Manningham. Back of the neck, what? I'll never move again. Never. This is my house and I'm here to stir. And I don't care, oh, I, I, don't, I, I don't care where it was. Could have been in Middle East and Pakistan for all I care, you know what I mean? I haven't bothered. The Gallagher's cousins live ten minutes away. The two families often play together. Lauren, the youngest, is eight. Her brother John is nine. The eldest is Devlin, whose dad is Jamaican. Like their cousins, the other families living on their street are Asian or black. Lauren and John are at the same school as their cousins, Jake and Amy. You looking forward to going to school, Lauren? Yeah. John, look. Yeah. You wear your scarf today? Yeah. My mum said I could. This house for me. Why are you wearing your scarf? Um, I don't know. Because I want to. What do you think of Lauren wearing your scarf, Lauren? I don't like you wearing it. Bye. Your scarf? It's bad if you're white, you don't wear it. <laughs> Shut up! And if you're Pakistani, you wear it. 
We wanted to film inside the school, but the subject of race in Bradford is so sensitive that no school in the city would allow us to film. This was as far as we could go. But going to a school where almost all the pupils are Asian is having an effect on Lauren and Amy. I saw Lauren going into school in the morning and she was wearing her scarf. She's a... She's a Muslim. No, she's not. She raped. She used to go to, she goes to mass with me. When I go back, she'll be coming back with me. Probably. When the family moved house, Ashleen started at a new mosque school. Housed in a converted church, it was across the street from their new home. It was here that the problems began. I went over there just to like check it out when they were there, and it's like a black cloth. And it's stuff, and I'm seeing the shoes there, and, it, and she came. I said, I'm just, you know, is Ashleen and Amy okay? Aisha? No, Ashleen. I can't remember what they called Amy. Uh, you know, Ash Aisha! I thought, oh shit, no, I'm not having that. <laughs> no, that's a bit deep, is that? There's only one God, and his name's Allah, and the last prophet's called Muhammad. The prophet said, peace be upon him. Um, you don't, you know, don't know what Allah looks like. Everybody says that is a light, like a light. But it could be um, uh, everybody says that is a light. 